Yo, so I'm gonna explain what what inspired this song. Um, first of all, I made the beat while um, me and my homies were working on another record. I'm finding myself I like to break away while while there's a vibe and capture that vibe on my own in a different setting, in the same place, in a different room, literally. And um, or I'll ask a question and say ask somebody like say a word right now, how you feel, describe how you feel. And I'll make a, a vibe or a beat depending on that, or literally pick sounds depending on what that is. And um, that day I happened to pick up the homie and drive, drove through a crazy rainstorm from the shore and saw epic sunrise, like sunset in the middle of it. And I was just thinking about a lot of things in my life and how things are beautiful when, they, when they're dark and they, the sun comes back out, but then it goes away and it's inevitable that the seasons and everything will change and I'm a big person who always asks this question does life depict art or does art depict life because life itself is artistic so I find myself just painting everything and every every single moment of my life I'm finding that I'm painting now so when I made this instrumental it took about 10 minutes and um the word was love I had the headphones on downstairs and I made this instrumental. And the second I took the headphones off and heard it on the speakers, I just started freestyling. These rainy days won't go away because living down the beach, it's weird because I'll find myself not wanting to go to the beach or not wanting to go in the ocean at all, ever. Like, ever at all. Until I can only go in the water for like one more week because the weather's about to get bad again. So every time I find myself wanting to go to the beach at the end of the season, it starts raining and I can't do what I wanted to do. So it's like a lesson that I like teach myself every fucking year that I wait to the last minute for things. It's, you know, it's like stuff that we all beat ourselves up with, but things that can easily be fixed and avoided because I could have just fucking vibed at the beach all along. But, um, but these rainy days won't go away. It takes long for the sun, but you know, I'll wait next year. There will be a summer next year. I'll fucking wait for the sun next year. You know, it's gonna take a long time. It's gonna be a long, cold motherfucking winter. <laughs> Metaphorically. But um, I will I will make it to that fucking sunrise and sunset again, you dig? So you can take that for relationships, for love, for whatever that is. But um, but yeah, the word that inspired this song was love. The um the nature that inspired this song was obviously the changing of everything. And my whole life, rain, rain has been a very creative moment for me. I love rain. It's, it's how I know that things are healing and being, being rehydrated. The whole world survives from this moment right here. And, um, and when I recorded the vocals the next day, that's what I'm saying, I recorded, this is only five, uh, five days after the song was made. It's only taking a little longer because I did have to go tweak some things. And, um, but when we recorded the vocals, it was raining again. It was sunny on my way there. And when I got to the studio, it was raining. So we went to the window and opened up the window and the rain that you hear in the audio in the, in the song is the rain from when I laid the vocals down. So artistically, the video will probably be self-explanatory with the clips of rain and the sun, you know? But the song itself means, you're so indecisive, hate to get excited. Lines like that, it can be related to a personal thing or to nature. Nature's indecisive as fuck. She's, she's, a, she's a wild bitch, bro. <laughs> That's just the nature of everything, but. But the song was inspired by love, and I hope it makes you feel something. She said these rainy days won't go.